I, I grew up in a family. My father used to say that he was an atheist, a very good father. My mother was more Catholic than the Pope, but she was a good Christian person. She was loving. With time, as I grew as a Christian, I kind of became her priest. We spoke about the Bible. We talked together. She accepted the will of God and the Bible. I never um, criticized her religion. I, never, I was never too harsh speaking about Catholics because I have seen so many good Catholics in my life. That I cannot say anything against the entire group. And some of them very faithful to what they know. Very faithful to what? To what they know. And I have friends that are from other churches. Baptists. Pentecostal. Jehovah Witness. And there are some Baptist preachers. Woo! I grew up learning, uh, in my ministry, I, I have grown learning some of those guys, uh, listening to some of those guys. They are good. christ Center. We might disagree in some things. Yes. Because I believe in the Bible, there are some things that are more traditional for some churches than biblical. But God has good people everywhere. And he's working in with human hearts. He's trying to save only the Seventh-day Adventist church. He's trying to save humanity. It's why when Jesus died, it's so everyone, anyone who believes will not perish. John 3.16 And I have, sometimes I speak about two good neighbors I have. Well, let me say three. It was a lady. What is Heather? Iris. An old white lady. We moved into the neighborhood. She, go to, she used to go to her Sunday keeping church. And I was her there because she was a couple. Next door neighbor. And we started connecting. With time, she would go to me and say, you know, my pastor lives far away. Since you are close to me, you are my pastor now. Let me talk to you. And we spent time speaking. She would talk. I would listen. What a sweet Christian lady. Was she a Seventh-day Adventist? She was good. And then I have one of... My neighbors on one side, they were Jewish. They were intellectual people. He's, he was a doctor in politics, university teacher, and she used to teach for John, John Hopkins University. She was a psychologist also with a PhD, a doctorate. Good people. We connected. We shared our tools we, we spoke, we, we spent time together. But then on the other side, I, have my, I had my Muslim neighbors. So I was like the gases. And those Muslims, they became part of our family. We used to do outing together, do picnics together. We went to the zoo together. Uh, um, we, 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 we would just... Get, and they were con not, 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 not liberal Muslim. They were conservative one. Or they are. They are still alive. We learn how to eat from each other. The lady said, you know, uh, now we are all vegetarian like you. Heather is the one. We, we know how to cook tofu now. And we know how to make it tasty. Because we give some kind of Caribbean flavor. 
Yes. Because God, there are a lot of people on earth with different beliefs, but they are all searching for God. For the one truth, God. And they are going to find it. And when Jesus come, when Jesus come, we are going to see people that we never imagined they will be there. Because God is working in people's hearts. Oh, I believe in church. Yes, God put church together so people can grow together. We can learn from each other. We learn how to tolerate each other. We learn how to be more patient. And, 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 and we learn how to love our neighbor, connecting with our neighbors. But God has people everywhere. And these individuals, they came from somewhere else with a message for the people of God. And in verse 3, are you with me? When King Herod heard this, he was what? <coughs> Disturbed. Trouble. And uh, can you read with me the rest of the, child, the verse? And what? And all the king that was supposed to be there because of God's will, he was what? Trouble. He did not know what was going on. And the people of God was like the king. They were, they were also trouble. Are we the only one with the truth? Come on. Don't be shy. Eh? The whole? Are we the only one with the whole truth? Uh, exactly. That is what I want you to keep your mind open. And sometimes we have the truth, but we don't sharpen it enough. We know we have it and we forget about it. But there are other people that are, that, that are seeking because they feel the need. Sometimes when you feel that you have it all together, it's a dangerous thing. Because inside of it all, I don't have to seek anymore. I'm okay. I'm part of the people of God. Of God. My, my, my life is, is complete. I don't have to seek anymore. Because I believe this and this and this and I do this and that. But those people, they felt a need for God. When you believe that you have everything, you are in danger. You are in danger to yourselves and to others. And all Israel and the king that were supposed to know what was going on, they were, they were, they were disturbed. When he had called together, when he had called together, verse 4, all the peoples, chief, priests, and teachers of the law, he asks them, where is the Messiah? Where the Messiah was to be born? In Bethlehem of Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For, uh, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then seven, then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the next time the star had appeared, the first time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully and search carefully for the child, as soon as you find him, 
report to me so that I too may go and worship him. Was that his plan really? Because sometimes no matter how exposed to, uh, you are to the truth and to religion, pride can be something big in a, in a, people, in a person's life. He was not thinking about the prophecy. He was thinking about himself, about his position as a king. He was thinking about his son, about his earthly future. But the Bible says that verse 9, after they had heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when, when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child where the child was. So God did not manifest, did not show himself to the priest, to the king, but to whom? To the Magi. Not at the beginning, not only at the beginning, but also on the way to see the child. Verse 11. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they, bow, they bowed down and worshipped him. Their intention was to go and recognize that he was the Son of God. Was very different from Herod's, right? But also the Bible say that they gave some gift, but in, in verse 12, and having, are you with me? Been what? In a dream, not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Who warned them? An angel is just a messenger. Who sent the messenger? And they were wha what? Magi. People from another place. With another religion maybe. But they were seeking the truth. They were what? Seeking the truth. People can have belief even in our church. But they are not. We cannot be seeking the truth. And then God appeared to them again. They have revelation from God. Those people. In the Bible we find other stories like that. We find the story of a centurion named, named Cornelius. Chapter 10, 11, and 12 in the book of Acts. Through 11. He saw God went and, 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 and showed himself to him that through his angel. Go and, and uh, uh, you, uh, you have been seeking my presence. You want to see me. I'm here. I want to tell you what to do. Find Peter. He's going to teach you. That is God working in people and through people. So next time you see someone from another church, another religion, don't judge. Don't what? Don't judge. Our responsibility is to love. Is to what? Is to love. 
our responsibility is to care for people, to value even differences. Because sometimes you think that you are so right in some aspects of your life, but when you analyze them at the light of the Bible, you, you can find out that you are wrong. So don't be too quick to judge other people. One, one of the things I like about Christmas season is that people become acceptance to others. We might not believe that Jesus was born right in this season. And the Bible doesn't say when, for some reason. But it's an opportunity to embrace others, to love people, to accept the differences. We believe in the Bible. Do we agree with that? We believe in, the, in God's law. But always we, need to, we always need to understand that God is the God of humanity. He created humanity. Not just a group of people. And he wants to save humanity. And then he has methods that you cannot even imagine. Don't try to limit God's work in people's life. Because every and every place you can't imagine. Uh, there is someone in any place. There is someone through whom God is working in his life. And we are not there yet. And they are also in the process. Jesus is coming soon. And he doesn't want us to become a weird group of people. A what? That cannot be a good influence for others. Sometimes we become so weird. I remember once I was, I used to do construction. I was a part-time pastor and, and, and for money, I like stability and security. I had a company and I was working somewhere. And, and, and by chance, it was another guy working in that same building. It was a military base somewhere in Virginia. And, uh, and the guy was, was preaching, and he was a Seventh-day Adventist. And he was preaching to a girl, no more secular girl, with no religion. And he was talking to her, the first conversation, and how you can eat raw soy bean. And, and, and the girl asked me, he is from your church. And I said, no, he's not. Well, well ex he was not exactly. He went to another church. <laughs> <laughs> have you denied a brother like that? Yes, I have done it. And, 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 I, don't, and I don't feel guilty about it. She needed Jesus. She needed love. And then we can speak about health. We can speak about other things in the future. We need to be open-minded. No, 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 I'm not speaking about accepting sin in our lives. You, you don't mess with the devil. I'm speaking about accepting people and asking God for wisdom so we can connect with people because it's the only way we are going to be able to help people. People. It might be a lot of difference between me and you, but God is working in your life. He's working in my life. Mm, that other person I met, that, that person you meet in the hospital, in the school, in the, at work, 
uh, he might believe at that moment something different. Just be his her friend. Love that person. And eventually, he will know you. He will know who you are. And if you are a good Christian, no, no, no. I'm not saying if you are perfect. If you are a good Christian, sincere, he, she is going to notice it. And you are, you, and you are not going to have to speak too much. This guy, the Bible don't even say the name of those guys. They say there were three just wise men. They were my guy. I don't know. Maybe it was the interpretation of the people. Because sometimes we believe that everybody, everything that comf, comes from the other side. I don't know. But those people, for sure, were listening to God's voice in their lives. Not only listening, but following God's will. They were willing to go from, a, from far away trying to find the promised child. Are you willing to be like them? When someone comes to you, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not that naive. People come to me with different stories, and I listen. That doesn't mean I have to believe everything you say. I analyze things. I'm not that emotional. I don't quickly jump into conclusions. But when people come, come to me with something, even if I believe that it's outrageous, that I just listen. And sometimes I don't even contradict them. Okay. And I keep connecting with people. Eventually they are going to ask me what I think. And I will say what I think. What I think. God need wise people on earth. God need God need a church of wise men and women in order to connect with this generation. Sometimes we are so short fused and we have the need to win the argument. We want to be right. Of course, I do my best to be right. It's being right is not enough. In this, in this mission of serving humanity. Of course, you're right, but it's not enough for what they need. We are going to have a special music by my friend Colin. You, you can, what word is Colin? You can come, you know. And I want to call you. I want to make an appeal. I don't want you to negotiate principle. You take care of your body. God's law is for real. If you have lifestyle of being healthy and eating healthy, that is a good thing. Don't negotiate whatever is working in your life and is good. But the calling I'm going, the appeal I'm going to make is so God can give you an accepting heart. A loving heart. Amen. So you don't judge people. So you can love everybody. Even if they are completely different from you. And you can accept people and you can listen to them. Because it's the only way you are going to be a good influence for others and to others. He is going to start thinking, we can, Jesus, stand up so we can. And then, 
Uh, and then if you want to conform, it's okay. If you want to raise your hand and say, God, give me a loving heart and ac a accepting heart so I can love everybody, even when they believe differently. Please, Colin. Lift up your heads, there's no need to mourn. A hand is stretched out still. Far unto us a child was born with promises to fulfill. Jerusalem He cried for you No, He did not come to you In vain His love are open wide for you and a he he will come he will come again he was Bethlehem oh, it is more than just a memory that child that was born there he has come to set us free he was Bethlehem son I can see him in your eyes The child that was born there His spirit, it never died on earth and goodwill goodwill to all men no his star his star will never go dim it's a brand new dawn our new Jerusalem and oh we yes we will ring we will ring with him he was Bethlehem morning it is more than just a memory that child that was born there he's here today to set you free he was Bethlehem son I can see him in your eyes child 
that was born there is King of kings, Lord of lords. You can see him in the eastern. You'll be in the eastern sky. Need and our need to be right. Sometimes we even drive our families crazy. We kick our children out of church because we cannot sit and listen. We are so right that we're not even interested in seeing their point of view. We don't want to listen. And sometimes our family has struggled through questions, as, as dilemmas, and, 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 and we don't know because we are so right that we disable ourselves. We don't do well at listening and valuing other point of views. God wants a church that is as mortal than that. We can love people and listen to people. They can say things and we listen to them. You don't have to share what other people believe. But you can, you can appreciate the good things they have. And listen to their struggles. Sometimes you have people in our home that they believe differently. But we can ask God for wisdom to listen to them. Now it's not about me because I'm just the instrument. I'm the missionary that was sent as part of church. It's not about me being right. It's about you being saved. And if I have to bend a little in order to get you to heaven, I'm going to do it. If I have to shut for an hour so I can listen to your struggles, to your doubts, I'm going to do so because I'm just an instrument. Do you want to be an instrument? Don't be too right. Don't be afraid of being wrong. Just love people. Love God. It's not about how much you do. It's about how much you love. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your love, for your mercy. You are a good God. You are loving. You are merciful. You, you just, you are patient. You are patient with us. Help us to be patient with others. And to love others. Even when they think different from us. Be with us. And help us to enjoy this week. And be a instrument. To bless others. Thank you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen.